This is Nimrod. Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Nimrod, the seemingly indestructible descendant of the mutant hunting sentinels. The Marvel Universe is full of villains who oppose the X-Men and have been rooting for the downfall of these mutants for a very long time. Sentinels are the most powerful of these villains, and these androids were created with the sole mission of destroying the mutant race. One such sentinel was Nimrod, a time-traveling sentinel created in the future, created by Chris Claremont. This advanced being was first introduced as a villain in the Uncanny X-Men comics. Ever since, he has been traveling across timelines and has made it his life's mission to destroy every single mutant who crosses paths with him. Let us explore his origins and follow his misadventures as he hunts mutants across the timelines. Before we go into our explanation, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Exploring the Dark Origins of Nimrod Originally, Sentinels were being created by Dr. Bolivar Trask, who believed that the increasing number of mutants had a threat to humanity. He created Sentinels and programmed them to eliminate the mutant race on Earth. During the Days of Future Past timeline, Sentinels dominated Earth-818 and overtook the entire place to look for mutants and hunt them down. All the mutants in this reality, X-Men, and even superheroes such as the Avengers were eradicated and only the Sentinels held authority in this future timeline. On Earth-818, Project Nimrod was an experiment to create an advanced Sentinel with powers beyond one's imagination. Once the project was completed and Nimrod was activated, he had his first encounter with Rachel Summers. Summers was on a mission with a fellow mutant, Kate Pride, and they were sent to sabotage Project Nimrod. However, as soon as they traveled to the future, they ended up face to face with the powerful Sentinel. While Rachel Summers traveled back to her present, Nimrod got his hands on Kate Pride and killed her. He then decided to go after Rachel Summers and kill her, but it took Nimrod a while to figure out how to travel to timelines in the past. On a different timeline, on Earth 616, Dr. Alia Greger brought Nimrod to life in her attempt to revive her husband. When Erasmus Mendel lost his life during an X-Men attack, his wife tried to find a way to resurrect him. Finally, Alia extracted her husband's consciousness and placed it in Nimrod's mechanical body. Razamus's conscious started working in the Sentinel's body, and they soon got wind of the mutant Mystique, who was lurking on their space station called Orcus Forge. Mystique intended to blow up the place with a bomb and destroy all the ongoing projects at the Orcus Forge. However, Nimrod used his powers to get rid of the bomb and save the place from getting destroyed. In doing so, Nimrod had to get rid of Erasmus' consciousness from his body. Now that he had total control over his being, Nimrod hunted Mystique down and banished her to Krakoa. He boasted about being the greatest mutant hunter in the world and vowed to eliminate the entire mutant race. Nimrod in X-Men The Animated Series Explored Nimrod's character was written into a few episodes of X-Men The Animated Series. The show followed the original comic storyline where Nimrod is a sentinel from the future. Nimrod first appeared in the episode titled Days of Future Past, where he fought against Wolverine. He then followed Bishop, who was responsible for creating Nimrod in the first place. While following Bishop, Nimrod fought many X-Men and was finally defeated by the mutant Storm. Crack the heavens! Remove this abomination! He also appears in both parts of the episode One Man's Worth, where he works for the supervillain Master Mold. Acting upon the orders of Master Mold, Nimrod agrees to help Trevor Fitzroy kill Charles Xavier. Nimrod once again comes across Bishop, Storm, and an alternative version of Wolverine. He fails to defeat them yet again, and Master Mold later hands him the task of killing four time-traveling mutants. Nimrod travels across time to get rid of these mutants and manages to destroy Shard and Forge. He then returns to the year 1959 to kill Charles Xavier and gets close to him by disguising himself as a friend. Yeah. Nimrod! 
Nimrod also had a cameo in the finale of the X-Men Evolution animated series. In the shot, we get a glimpse into the future, where Nimrod is now leading an entire army of Sentinels. In the Wolverine and the X-Men storyline, new creatures called Sentinel Hounds were introduced. These creatures were inspired by Nimrod, and they were created by Bolivar Trask when he tried to experiment with mutant healing abilities to create a new species of fighters. Mark X Sentinels in X-Men Days of Future Past were basically inspired by Nimrod. Mark X Sentinels were created by Bolivar Trask in the Days of Future Past timeline. These Sentinels had many powers, such as the ability to replicate other mutants' powers. They had supernatural strength and durability, and the ability to adapt to an unfamiliar environment. All these abilities possessed by these Sentinels were some variations of Nimrod's abilities, and it is safe to say that Nimrod basically inspired the Mark X Sentinels. Moreover, these Sentinels can produce their own energy beams that are powerful or melt through any surface. They even possess super speed and agility, and can move as fast as a moving car. In addition to this, the Mark X Sentinels could also fly, shapeshift, and detect the presence of other mutants, among other things. They can transform their limbs, such as hands, into claws or blades to attack their opponents. Even though these Sentinels' powers were not on the same level as Nimrod, there are many similarities in their skill sets and abilities. Some of the most dangerous things done by Nimrod Nimrod has done many dangerous things in his lifetime and unleashed a lot of chaos in different timelines all over the world. Right from the first time he traveled from the future to the present, Nimrod wrecked havoc and created a lot of confusion for everyone. And since he had an advanced bodysuit, he claimed to be a hero of people when in reality he was an advanced sentinel who killed many mutants. When he first traveled from the future, Nimrod accidentally landed in an alternate timeline where the mutant Forge had settled down with Storm. They even had a daughter, Aurora Monroe, and a son, and they lived peacefully in this alternate world. Since Nimrod needed to get back to the correct place, he devised a plan to get Forge to build the machine. The Sentinel killed Storm and kidnapped Aurora, which left Forge with no other option but to create a time machine to prevent his wife's death. A few years before the M-Day Crisis, Nimrod had stolen the head of Bastion from S.H.I.E.L.D. Master Mold had created Bastion by absorbing Nimrod's prototype into his own system, thereby creating an indestructible mutant. Now that Nimrod had stolen Bastion's head, he attached the head to his own body, giving Bastion a new life. Bastion had control over his body for a while until Nimrod started asserting more and more power. Around the second coming arc, Nimrod regained total control over his body and he fought with Hope Summers, Rogue, and Nightcrawler. Nimrod was responsible for killing the powerful mutant Nightcrawler by passing his arm through his body. Eventually, Nimrod, as Bastion, released an entire army of Nimrods from a different future. These Nimrods were handed the task of getting rid of all X-Men. After a lot of trouble, the mutants Cable and Cypher managed to control these Nimrods by getting rid of their Master Mold. However, as long as there is a single Nimrod, an infinite number of Nimrods can be created in the universe. These Nimrods have taken over various universes and timelines and pose a significant threat to the mutant race. Nimrod was also responsible for getting rid of the last of the mutants in an alternate future. These Sentinels were created in the future, whose sole mission was to destroy the remaining mutants. After completing their tasks, Nimrods traveled to the present in the Days of Future Past storyline. What makes Nimrod so powerful? As a Sentinel, Nimrod has many advanced robotic powers that have been ingrained into his bodily systems. His body has been constructed with the help of materials and armor that is highly durable and cannot be easily damaged. Even when he suffers any damage during a fight, Nimrod's body can self-repair without difficulty. Moreover, Nimrod can change his appearance from a robot to a human 
which helps him stay undetected in the world. He has total control over his internal systems and can rearrange them to make optimal use of his bodily functions. He has built-in weapons that give him the ability to conjure force fields around him, project energy blasts, and even control magnetic energy to levitate metals such as iron and steel. Along with these abilities, Nimrod can also replicate the function of any firearm or weapon and change its molecular structure to copy its powers. He can travel without much difficulty and has the ability to teleport as well as fly. Nimrod even has sensors that can help him detect the powers of any mutants or supernatural beings around him. You mean that itty bitty soup can? Conclusion? To sum it up, Nimrod is an advanced sentinel from the future with powers beyond one's imagination. He has an array of weapons and abilities and does not exhibit any weaknesses, making him an undefeatable opponent. He is powerful enough to destroy the strongest of mutants and emerge victorious without any trouble. And it is advisable to stay out of his way. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. A new sentinel from my